Hey Fancy Free RVer followers, and here we are. We are parked in my sister's driveway here. We're gonna spend the time in Minnesota for the holidays, so that means the snow is coming, and we are, you know, we're just kind of parked here. We're not gonna go anywhere, so we want to winterize the RV for the winter and then head back south in January. But, so in this video, I wanna show you how we winterize the RV. We've never done it before, but always remember to follow your RV instructions because it could be a little bit different, but this is how we did it with our RV. So stay tuned. So in this video, I'm going to talk about how we cleared out the water system using air with the air compressor. And the first thing you do is, well, I don't have a hose hooked up to this, so I just use this plate. Now open, open up the water heater. <laughs> And that drains without air. Okay, and you can open this up to let it all drain I got my out. pants wet. Gotcha. <laughs> cool. And uh, so when that's done, then we go to the other side and switch over to cut the air off to this. So in this RV, we have a water heater bypass. And that's the symbols for doing that. I want to turn this one over to here. Before I had switched it over to the total bypass, I wanted enough air to get into the line supplying the hot water heater to clean that out. So now I switched it, as you saw a little bit ago, to the total bypass. And what I had to do, because I didn't have a regular valve, clean out valve for this, this system we have for putting air, water into the fresh water tank when we're out in the boondocks and we can go get fresh water without taking the RV and we can pump it in with this pump. And there's another fitting that goes on here that goes at a pump, but I switched it over to a air valve here, and then I can hook the hose. So I have a good system, and it's tight because there's no air leaks. And now I can go to the back bed back bathroom and turn the faucets on, starting with the hot, let that clean all that air water out of that pipe, and then go to the cold. And then that's the furthest from this point, the furthest sink and then I'll go to the kitchen and then the front bathroom and the shower and I can clean all the pipes out with air and we'll get in there and show you again which um, when the air water is coming out of the valves there's going to be a little bit left in there we already pretty much cleaned it all out but there's still going to be some residual that we're going to go another round with it and get it all out as much as we possibly can there'll always be a little bit in there but not enough to create enough freeze pressure to pop any pipes. So I'm going to go to the back bathroom and drain that and the toilet. So you got to push the toilet valve down to let the water out of that as well. So I'm going there now. Turn that one off and turn the hot one on. All right, we have all the water drained out of the supply system, the water lines. And I did it three times, I went through that process because I like to err on the side of caution when it comes to pipes and water in the winter time, it's crazy. So the next is to put RV antifreeze, this pink stuff, never use auto antifreeze, this pink stuff into the drains to fill up the trap, force the water that's in there out and then into the, uh, again, the traps, the J trap so that that won't freeze up and bust stem pipes. That's just as critical as getting the water out of the supply line. How much do you pour in there? 
whatever you feel comfortable with. I, again, I err on the side of caution. I want to put enough in to make sure that it's working. And this probably has like one trap, but I'm still going to do both sinks. Right, because this one probably has an elbow anyways, like they normally do, even if they... Yeah. Or whatever it is underneath, so... Yeah. I'll turn my light on. You can see in there. Oh, yeah, there it is. So there's a crossover from this one to this one, and then there's the J-trap. Cool. So I should have enough filled that up, and it'll go into the gray tank, which is perfect. Awesome. All right, and we do the bathroom. Again, more than enough, most likely. And the shower. It would be a good idea to wipe this up so it doesn't stain the shower floor and the sinks. It likely it won't, but once again, I'm going to use this towel, which is already damp from doing the compost toilet. We have a compost toilet and so that supply is not used but I took the cap bar, the plug off to empty that one. That was the last one that I did blowing the air through and all the water out. So I'll clean this up. And then to the kitchen and then I'll go in the back bedroom or back bathroom and do that. Which you guys don't need to see that because it's just the same thing. Same process. Now, do you, what if, okay, since we have a compost toilet, you know, you did that line, what, did, what, are, we, what are you going to do with the toilet that's in the back extra bathroom? Well, I don't have to do anything with that because it doesn't have any traps because it just has a straight shot into the black water tank or the black waste tank. So it, that does nothing to do with the drain type thing. Cool. Awesome. Thanks, Pops. And those black black tanks are empty because we've never used them. They were emptied before we got this camper, and we've never used them. So, right, all right, all right. So there you have it. That's what we did uh, to winterize the RV. And if you have any questions, definitely. Uh, put those comments down below and always remember to subscribe to our channel. We don't necessarily have like a reality show for this channel. It's just all about information and important information when running around in, uh, in um, full time in an RV. So appreciate you. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you again soon. Bye for now.